You're always on to Andy. <laughs> not saying that, then you just said it. You gotta restart now. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. Um, bring that back on, back on. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Friday, cocktail hour, and hopefully we can get this episode going. We haven't even had anything to drink, and we're already starting this over. And I over and speak over. for yourself. I went home and had a beer. Oh, I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> So it is uh, the end of our week vacation. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week. We hit a bunch of distilleries and you can check those out on social media. And yesterday was St. Patty's Day, so hopefully you had a great St. Patty's drink. We enjoyed the um, Jameson Orange. It was, it was interesting. It was interesting. Um, and today we're just going to move on to, <clears throat> sorry, got some horsey, froggy voice. Today we're going to move on to a great cocktail, a classic cocktail uh, that we haven't uh, actually ever tried before. No, nope. I don't think I've Just tried Googled it. it up. Yeah, ten minutes ago. Uh, we had a drink that we had planned, and at the last an minute ingredient. noticed that uh, we didn't have one of the ingredients, one of the essential ingredients. Yeah, and so we came up with this. Well, we didn't come up with this. We did some little research, came up with this, and then we started this episode like ten times, and now we're. Back, so yeah, we just got on Google. Yeah, so I uh, went to one of my favorite uh, cocktail sites, and we're going to do the Brandy Alexander. Brandy Alexander, which by the way has no brandy in it. Cognac is brandy. Well, I know, but I would call it the Cognac Alexander. So to start off with, in a shaker glass, we're going to add one and one half ounces of cognac. So you're gonna actually add three ounces in there. We're gonna make the, let's make these separate. Let's, let's do, make them separate. Yeah, one and one half ounces of cognac. We're gonna add one ounce of dark creme de cocoa. Because I went to try something with mine. Uh, he's gonna add rye whiskey. No. One ounce of uh, creme de cocoa. One ounce of creme de cocoa. Dark creme de cocoa, which I uh, don't know if that's dark, but. It's not. But it, it'll work. It's creme de cocoa. One ounce of cream. So, on this cream, is this the heavy whipping cream? Mm -hmm. Perfect. One ounce of cream? One ounce of cream. And we're going to add some ice to it. And we're going to give it a good, well, shake. Until frosty. Until frosty. And we're going to go ahead and pour that in here. We're going to double strain it. So this is a bourbon and bows version. See what it caught? What's the point? Just gives it a more. That was a suburban and booze version. That's exactly what that says. No, because we're using light creme de cocoa, not dark creme de cocoa. Oh, yeah. Bourbon and booze version. <laughs> Go ahead. So let's make yours. So again, one and one half ounces of cognac. And then one ounce of dark creme de cocoa or creme de cocoa. Oh, and it also calls for garnishing with uh, nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. So the fact that it's that one's more of an uh, ingredient, it might change the flavor. An ounce of cream de cocoa. An ounce of creme de cocoa. And one ounce of cream. I'll shake it. You want some more ice in there? Uh, a little bit. There you go. You don't need that one. You know, 
like the fanciful far away. <laughs> it's heavy whipping cream. I want mine frosting. So you can tell without the dark creme de coco, it's gonna be, it'll be a much darker color. Well, yeah, this cream de coco is specifically clear. Mmm. I like that. Actually, I really like that. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, it's really good. It is a bit thick. It is a bit thick. I'm going to add something. What are you adding to yours? That is good. What are you adding to yours? I don't know. You said you were going to do something. Yeah, I was going to try and shake it till it foamed. But I'm going to add just a little bit of the Monin espresso syrup. Give it a little coffee. Hmm. That does sound like a good idea. It doesn't? It does. I was saying. Normally I'd add this in the shaker, but I wanted to try the original. I love the original. Might be one of my new favorite cocktails in a bar. Oh yeah. It's almost like a Kind of like a white Russian, in a way. It's really good. I only added half of that, one jigger, so what's that, 10 ounces? Probably would have done. 10 ounces? I'm oh, sorry, 10 mils. I have no idea what the jiggers are. I they think this don't is, have any realistic measurement. I think this is 10 mils. I could be wrong, could be 20. Uh, but I think I would add a full one. It's maybe a quarter ounce. Is what we added. Yeah, that's really good. So that's my version of the Brandy Alexander. We made the regular one with the light creme de coco, not the dark creme de coco, but we'll have to get a creme de coco. Do some coffee. And then to jazz it up a bit, we add a little bit of the Monin espresso syrup, or you could add any type of uh, coffee liqueur if you want. I was also thinking a good bourbon cream Maybe. Added to it, but I think I like this better. Yeah. Or possibly a coffee liqueur, um, which we have a bunch of coffee liqueurs. So, yeah. You got some foam in your mustache. Mm. That's what happens. Now, obviously, you're going to garnish this with a little bit of nutmeg. Um, I think a cinnamon would be a little yeah. nice, too. Um, fresh ground cinnamon. We don't have either one. We use the... Um, should probably get a little cinnamon sugar in here. We use the fresh ground, um, or the fresh cinnamon, just the other day for something I can't remember what. We had something that had fr or fresh cinnamon yeah. in it at a bar. But you could, um, no, I had a little bag here and we used it for something. Uh, probably a non filming cocktail. But yeah, adding a little bit of uh, espresso or fresh brewed espresso well, might be nice, but I like the little sweetness that we get here with the syrup. Yeah. Really good. Um, but tell us what your alterations of a Brandy Alexander are. Obviously, we always bourbon and booze it up, and I'm really surprised you didn't add rye to yours, but nah, the, it's pretty the night's still young. So, um, Tell us what you think. Um, give us your favorite recipe. What other cocktails should we do? Uh, make sure you check out all of our videos Monday through Friday. Mondays we do oddities and we're having a lot of um, different videos on tequila and um, gins and we're kind of slow on the rums and vodkas. We've done a couple of vodkas recently but um, hopefully we can start picking up on some of the other ones because we got a lot of different uh, rums and liqueurs that we need to do um, but we've been really heavy on tequilas and gins lately. Tuesdays and Thursdays are whiskey or flavored whiskey, so um, anything from the whiskey family. And then Friday or Wednesday is coffee time, and we did a great episode on um, how do you add alcohol or what kind of alcohol you add to your coffee, the different cr uh, alcohol creams. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, we'll probably do a review of a regular coffee next Wednesday. 
And then of course, Friday is cocktail time and this is a nice refreshing. It's been hot outside to me um, for being so cold lately. And so this is nice and refreshing. Yeah. So tell Went us what you from think. below freezing to freaking hot. Yeah, almost 90, so. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and all of our merchandise. And we hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Cheers. You said that great weekend a little aggressively there.